So we're here on my Monarch Series 60 lathe. And other than the uh, outrageous color, the thing that I get asked about the most is this feature right here, the power angular feed. So most machines of this era and even newer, uh, on an engine lathe, you'll generally have power in this direction. You'll have power down the bed, but you won't have power on the compound. And the reason for that is uh, just complexity and um, added problems that can arise by adding in the, the extra stuff to make it work. So my lathe is pretty uncommon. I wouldn't say it's unique because there are some other ones out there. I have not seen anybody run one on uh, YouTube or anywhere else, but I have seen photos on Practical Machinist on people uh, asking questions about how it works and uh, what their machine you know, might have missing parts, how to get it running again. But uh, this one is, is fully functional and it has been since the day I got it. It's a, a pretty cool system that allows you to do a couple of nifty little things that aren't normally part of um, an engine lathe of this vintage. So let's fire up the machine, get the uh, compound swung around a little bit, and I'll show you how I make some um, angles. So we've got the compound on a 30 degree angle and the tool is basically in line with the cross feed. So under normal operation is what it would look like. Nothing, nothing special there. But the trick with this system is tightening this nut. You move this lever, which disengages the cross feed and then here in the center, there's a little hub that you click back and that engages the second lead screw that goes through the carriage here. And now, rather than moving the cross feed, I'm only moving the compound. So if I leave this lever up, then it'll do both at the same time. I don't know how to calculate using that effectively, so I haven't other than playing with it but that is something that I, I wanna, wanna be able to figure out. So generally when I'm using this feature, I'll come in here and let's say we'll start off about right there. Let's get the lathe going. Okay, so I don't always use it under power feed, although obviously that's, that's the idea. But when I'm doing roughing, I'll just use the hand wheel to do my roughing. And then when I move over on the carriage, that basically determines my depth of cut. So however far I move the whole carriage forward determines the depth. Now obviously doing this manually is something you can do with the handle on the compound, but it's a whole lot less convenient when you're having to reach over the bed like that. Okay, so now that I've basically gotten it uh, roughed in, I'll advance the carriage just a bit. Now this, I always mess up which uh, direction I'm feeding in. I just kind of have to start it and then figure out which direction it's going. 
So yeah, it's feeding the right way. There we go. So cutting a taper, you're only limited to what you can do. If you can make a finish that's just glossy and perfect, um, just along the, the bed, then you can do it on a taper, which is usually the part of the problem is your, your steadiness with a uh, compound feed is, is not great. Let me move you in and we'll do another shot. Okay, so we'll move on to uh, feeding by power. So we advance the carriage just a couple of thou. Engage the compound feed, or the, actually on the cross slide here, it's the same lever, but because of the way we have the handles all set up, we're not engaging the cross feed at all. It's sending that power instead to the compound. So there we go. Pretty fantastic job. So this finishing pass will bump forward just a little bit more, engage the feed. The compound is moving, but nothing else. And that tool does a nice job leaving us a really pretty finish. as good as it gets for a manual lathe. So power feed, we have this dog engaged, we have this pulled down, and all we have to do is engage this lever. So you'll notice this hand wheel is spinning, but the screw on the compound actually is not. That's what happens with this lug or this uh, nut tightened. It won't um, actually spin that hand wheel. And on here you can see it's stamped limit of travel. And then there's some guide marks there and then a mark here in the center of the compound.
pretty great. So there's a little bit more about the best feature on my lathe, the power angular feed or just a powered compound. Pretty fantastic machine. This thing is both a beauty and a beast. About 9,000 pounds of Ohio iron and just purrs like a kitten, cuts true and straight. Couldn't be happier with this machine. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. That really helps drive uh, more traffic to come and see my videos. And the more people that watch them, the more motivated I am to make more videos and share more content out of my shop and things that are going on around here. Uh, please hit the, the bell next to subscribe if you wanna get notified every time there's a new video. Otherwise, please hit like and then leave a comment below. Both of those things help the channel grow as well as watching the ads if you could. Love it if you'd watch them. That helps uh, put a couple of pennies in my pocket and allows me to know people are interested in watching and keep on making some more content for you. So next time we'll do some more work on the lathe and we'll finish up a project on the milling machine that I've been working on. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for checking it out.